Welcome to the video blog number two for Mole 6. My name's William Nichols. Um, I want to talk today uh, on the second blog about uh, how the business cycle has been smashed by particularly in millennials on their smartphones and very important things to understand. The world has changed. It's not like it used to be. So we grasp that then we can move on to, um, to future information on how to use a progressive web app effectively to address that. Okay, so, um, like I said in the previous uh, blog, this blog is really about the small business. It's about the people who are on, in the trenches, the people, the real people who are gonna have to sort out the real problems um, as we come out of this, this terrible problem. Um, I'm also gonna talk about in, in future blogs, the actual components of a, of a PWA um, that allow you to um, create new business, um, compete with business in the same sector as yours more effectively, um, engage in promotional activities specifically for social media and the smartphone, um, and how to turn the social media into your own personal distribution leisure, which is the opposite to the way that things are working with websites um, at the moment. So um, I'm also going to talk about, um, this is a heads up really, uh, handling the incoming data when it comes back from the smartphone. Um, and I mentioned in the, pre the previous blog how important the immediacy um, of information exchange is on the smartphone. Uh, the days of leaving it for 24 hours or even two hours are, are gone. Um, and people, and these people, they know immediately whether you're into their zone uh, and whether they're going to engage with you or not. So we'll look at that. Um, so we'll look at automation and contact management as well, but in a, in a very um, non-technical way. Right, so the main focus I want to think about today is um, how the uh, business cycle, how the sales cycle uh, has changed. Um, um, and also briefly look, as an introduction, the way some of the some of the world leading technology um, that's been negotiated by Multix fits into um, into your hosting package. So if you like, if you went out individually to get these components of, of your new web app by yourself, it would cost a fortune, no question. But we've negotiated it, we've got everything in one fixed build price, predominantly for most people, and fixed hosting package, okay? so. Um, um, and it's those components that um, help address uh, the real issues with what's happened with, with um, the changes in the sales cycle. So, um, the other element I just wanted to briefly touch on is that how, how um, per very personal the phone is compared to a website. Um, and no matter where you go in the world, um, you'll see um, faces illuminated by the smartphone. It's central core to people's lives. So, um, I'm gonna to briefly touch on, on one of the challenges of the old apps, because uh, it's important to, to, to distinguish between the apps of old and, and the new PW, progressive web app, that I'm talking about now. Um, the old apps were very, very, very heavy on smartphone memory. Um, and that's been a bit simpler, a simple way of saying it, but, and we all know ourselves, you know, that, that, uh, how many apps we actually delete from our phone. Why? Because the telephone, the smartphone starts complaining that you've got too many apps, so you delete them. The vast majority of apps, the old apps, the native apps, never even made it out of the app store. Over 80% of them never get downloaded. They're lost in space. They're lost behind a, a corporate firewall. Um, and actually, for people who operate those apps from there, it's quite expensive. And, and Apple, bless them, take rather a lot of money if you've got an e-commerce site um, with them as well. So the PWA has none of that. It does not need to be distributed from, um, from a closed shop, the Apple Store. Okay, so um, the new PWA from Google, developed by Google that, that, that Multis adopts here, is a, a roughly 200, 200 times lighter if you like, if you like on, on, on the iPhone, on the smartphone. And here's something else, it miraculously works offline. That's difficult to believe, but uh, without having to go through the, the technical reasons why that happens, um, 
if people are in a, an area of poor connectivity or if they're going through a tunnel on the, on the train uh, with the new PW it just carries on as normal it's fantastic so um, like I said in the next in the next blog we're going to start looking at the individual components that make uh, a PWI a PWA very effective for you but I just want to look at the sales cycle and let's go back to basics here I mean, I'm, I'm a salesman I guess but um, at the end of the day we're all in the business of selling something and anybody who says they're not quite honestly well I've got a different point of view so um, and by the way uh, there are over 130 blogs now on the Multics website and they're all searchable um, and I will be adding these these videos onto there but and there's lots of elements of what I'm talking about today that are reinforced and you can search by word or key phrases uh, on the database and it just and the, the blogs would just pop up for you so um, Millennials yeah people between 20 and 40 they uh, are responsible for 40% of the workplace right now as we talk right now within five years that's going to be 75% so uh, they are hugely familiar with technology much more familiar with people like ourselves perhaps in our 40s 50s and 60s um, they overcome objections before they come to you they've already done their research um, they already know their needs. They've done, the, they've done all the donkey work that perhaps salespeople used to do in the past. It's already done. So that part of the sales cycle is gone. It's finished. It's over. Um, and the internet has been largely responsible for that. Um, and what, actually what they're saying to you when they come to you is they're looking for, for fulfillment. Or they're looking for reinforcement of fulfillment because they've already done the work. And the thing you have to understand about the millennial is they're duplicitous. Okay, they just use your website as a research resource. And if you haven't got the next step, which is a PWA, to provide them with that intimacy uh, of conversation and reassurance, you're automatically losing out on, well, at least 60% of the potential business that's out there. They've got strong individual mindsets. Um, they trust strangers on social media much more than you and I perhaps would. They demand customer service immediacy. Immediacy, and I use this word immediacy a lot. They, it has to be right here, right now. None of this where, oh, we'll come back to you within two days uh, business because they drop you like a stone. They want to do business or they want to interact with you right here, right now. And that's important to understand. Um, they... Uh, they expect you to remember previous correspondence. Okay, so they might have come to you on a chat room and then gone to email and had a telephone call. All that information has to be recorded on your system because if you go back to them and you've forgotten where you were in that process, again, they're gonna drop you, you're gonna lose them. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna explain the answers to all these these challenges um, in blog three and, and, and blog four. Here's something else they do, they flit. FLIT, they move around between platforms. They're extremely comfortable adopting new platforms. Um, and this creates a domino effect in your business, in your workplace, if you haven't got the right tools in place. It's, it's chaos, absolute chaos. So customer immediacy is king. If you can remember that customer immediacy is king, then we're well on the track to, um, to understanding the importance of how to use a, a PWA in the in the new modern sales cycle because in the old days the idea was to make um, um, unhappy people happy people and if you can make them happy then if you can then the next point is to make them very happy because only very very happy people people are superbly happy with your customer service and the product that they've purchased from you will um, refer you uh, to somebody else and what's happened these days of course is that it's much less uh, having a chat down the golf club about re with referrals it's much more likely to be social media that's the way the millennials do it i've had a fantastic service on my car he only charged 39 pounds it goes out over uh, into social media and we're going to talk a lot more about how you can how you can really focus on uh, the tools um, out there to to get social media distribution. Because remember, your PWA is not an ordinary app. 
okay? It distributes on social media like a website, okay? It does not need to be distributed through an app store. So, um, we will look forward to the next blog, um, looking to fulfill the customer service needs of the millennial and managing incoming detail uh, automatically and professionally. And like I say, this all stems uh, with the new ebook, which is being launched this week. It's in its infancy. It's a working document. So um, if you'd like to uh, con contribute to that and learn from that ebook going forward, please go to the Multics website and download. Uh, and thank you for listening to blog two. Bye for now.